so here's this Joker. Really nice figure. Picked him up on eBay. No packaging. Mm -hmm. I like this because it's a nice 89 movie Joker. And comes with the S cane. Which is very nice. Only problem is it doesn't stay secure in his hand really well. Really. So you can do that. Let's see. And you can just have it so it stays in there at some point. Like so. And this hand I haven't been even able to get it to go in any at all. So. Bit of a bummer there. Now this flower comes off, and you can do that. Obviously, it becomes front a lot heavy unless you bend his knees. It's a really nice looking figure. And the head sculpt almost has a Jack Nicholson resemblance. But at some point I am going to switch out the head with an actual Jack Nicholson head. Joker head? Now, comparison, you can see the original toy look and how this looks. Also, I am going to find a, a custom made hat for him. But, you can do this because it, it kind of sort of works. But you can see it just really sits on there. Although I have gotten it set on here just right so I could look I would it was able to look, turn it upside down before it fell off. But that's something that it can easily be done. Well not easily but Just gotta get it in there in the right in the right friction spot. Which I can't seem to find at the moment. But it does kind of sort of work. Kinda makes you wish they included the hat when they made this figure. And now we see an 89 Batman figure. 
which is designed to be, uh, mimic the 89 Batman figure. Except for a minute. See, it looks pretty good. I do like it. I'm, but I'm gonna make some changes. One, I got a better cape that I'm gonna do. And two, I'm considering a uh, different head sculpt. One that looks a little bit better. But it does come with this battering on a rope. Which connects into the, the back gun. Which mine kind of got a little warped. So I'm going to have to do something about that. And it pops in securely. And as you can see, it's on. It pop, he holds it, the figure holds it. it secure, holds the gun securely. And this holds it securely, so you can swing them around. But the battering doesn't really hold in his hands too good. <laughs> See that? Now, comparison. Now I've redone this bat symbol my, with myself, so that's not a the symbol is not original because that one originally wore off. But as you can see, they mimic the face skull expression there. That's what what that's representing. And just because it's recently been re released, the McFarland <laughs> Batman. Nice contrast between the two, though. Now here's Joker, what was that? Standing next to Joker, if I can get him to stand. There we go. Okay, so here they are. All fixed up. Now... Remember, I originally said I was gonna do something with the head scope. Well, after I got this cape on, I realized the sculpt was perfect the way it is. It was just the cape that was throwing everything off. So now, let me uh, just do it. So you this so.
Got to get this standing right. looks great now can even turn around this way that book looks good I got this cape off eBay and now so and I'll put a link in the description below for for where you can get it one uh, the seller also had variations. Had one with the wire with the wires that would have made it go out like this, but I like this one better. Also had a letter version, but I like this one better. So yeah. You can get a lot of the Batman, kind of Batman cape pose looks going on. Now, getting this on is very hard to do, which is why I didn't film because it was too difficult to be for me to film and get this on. But basically, had the pop the head off rip off the old cape and actually cut the old cape off so I could get it around uh, get it unround this then I had to give this one a slightly wider hole so I could take and get wrap it around after putting it around here wrap it around and under and tuck it underneath because this part, well, when you heat it up, it does become a little pliable, which makes it easier to do. It, it won't come off. But still, that, that just makes this whole thing look great. Now I wanted to get now for him. First of all, I wanted to get a Joker gun, but I couldn't get one. But as you can see, I did get a hat, which I had to paint to match. And I got this Jack Nicholson Joker head off uh, Etsy. And I had to paint it myself. And I think I did a pretty decent job. <laughs> and you do have to use heat to get the old head off and on. And now because this hat doesn't quite fit. But it is... Because of the, I think it's because of the head, why head sculpt. I did get a little piece of tape, stuck it in there. That, that way I can keep it on the, get it to stay on the figure. There, just like that. So that looks great. Now, just quick comparison. Here he is with Alfred. If I can get him to stand. Then 
there. And as you can see, Joker and Alpha pretty much share the same sculpting. So that's it. Thanks for watching.